Hello everyone. We will continue advance our BAP programming topics. And in the previous video, we started with the cursor topic. We did the full explanation of cursor and we have written the logic for the open cursor and close cursor. Now in between this open and close, now we need to write the logic to fetch the data in terms of packets and chunks. And we all know and we covered in the previous video, whenever we want to fetch the data in terms of packets and chunks, we will use which particular statement? Fetch next cursor. So I will simply, simply write now fetch next cursor. This is syntax itself, fetch next cursor. I will give the name of the cursor. What is the name of the cursor? Name of the cursor is C. Now we will put that data into the internal table. So we all know what is the syntax. I will write simply into what is the name of the internal table name of the internal table is lt underscore data now we will not fetch all the data together this is our requirement itself we will fetch the data in terms of packets and chunks so it is totally in your hands what is the packet size you want to provide? So if I want to give packet size, there is a keyword packet size itself. Suppose I will give the packet size as two. In real projects, we will give so much big packet size, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. We will check at that point of time that if we are fetching this much data, yes, runtime error is not coming at that point of time. As in our current scenario, table has very less data. So I will show you based upon packet size of two. So what is the syntax for this? Fetch next cursor. I gave the name of the cursor. What is the name of the cursor? C. We are bringing data into internal table with a packet size of what two. It means at a time two records will come into this internal table. Next time two, next time two, next time two. But at a time, yes, it will bring only two records into the internal table. It will fetch two records from the database table and it will come into the internal table. Previously, all data is coming into the internal table. Now in our this current syntax, at a time, it will fetch the data of two and two will come into the internal table. Now, I will simply put this statement into do loop and I will explain fully. I will write do and end do because it will continue. It will, this process, this process of fetching will continue unless and until all data came from the database table. It means this process of fetching the data must be between the loop, must be between the loop. Now, I will simply, simply write a if condition here. I am writing if size sub rc equal to zero. If size sub rc equal to zero and for every if there is a end if. Now, we put this simply fetching logic inside the loop, inside the do loop. We all know we should always, always come out from the loop. If we are not exiting from the loop, it means it is a endless loop itself. 
if i want to come out from the loop just simple understanding if internal table has thousand records so automatically loop continue thousand times and we will jump on to next statement after that same case is here if i will not specify at what time this do loop should end or i should come out from the loop it will act as a endless loop itself as of now i am not specifying do 10 times or something because we don't know how many data is there in the database table so i cannot specify do loop will continue how many times so if i want to exit from the loop how how i will exit i will simply simply put a else part here so in the else part i will write exit now just see how it will work it will fetch to record to record to record to record suppose after that there is no record to fetch then system will simply go to which part else part and it will exit from the loop this is what we required yes if there is nothing to fetch if table has 100 record 50 times we fetch two two records means after that there is nothing to fetch it means size sub rc will be what size sub rc will be other than zero and we will simply simply exit from the loop now next important part and logic anyways whenever we will understand in the debugging mode it will give you full 100 percent clarity now you are fetching data and at a time two records will come into this internal table suppose we'll go for simple understanding i gave input 1 to 10 it means from the database table suppose based upon that input 10 records should come to application layer at a time we are fetching how many record two records so two records will come into this internal table. This do loop will continue. Next time it will again bring two records to this internal table. Now the question comes, the previous two records will be overridden by next two records. Suppose next time, third time it will continue. So next two records will override the previous two records. Next two records will override the previous two records. Next two records will override the previous two records. Ideally, we should get a output of 10 records, but we will get only output of two records because it is bringing two records into the internal table. So new records will come into the internal table and previous records will not be there. So in that case, what is the solution for the same? Whenever two records are coming into this internal table, we will simply, simply append it to another internal table. So we will just append it to another internal table. So that has two, four, six, eight, ten. This has always the two new records. But whatever we are appending, that has all the data. Now here, you will learn one more syntax also. Suppose I will declare one more internal table. Suppose I will write LT underscore final. Okay. Suppose I will write LT underscore final time table of LTY underscore data now here you will learn one more syntax how you can insert the data of one internal table to another internal table so we have a new syntax and the syntax is append lines of lt underscore data to lt underscore file it means from this internal table, data will append to this internal table. Many time people, what they will do? 
they will write in this way lt underscore final is equal to lt underscore data this is totally wrong based upon our current requirement see how it will work this internal table two records two records you are passing to lt final okay now again next time two new records two new records you are passing to lt final so previously record will be overridden because you are passing we want to go for append append it means previous record should remain as it is and new record should go after that after that after that because we all know append insert at the last at the last so if you want to append data from one internal table to another internal table use append lines of first internal table to second internal table if you want to copy the data of one internal table to another internal table use this but that is not our requirement we want to append the data of one internal table to another internal table now i will simply check the syntax internal table cannot be used as well we'll see okay i will write into table i forgot to use the word table now it will work because we are bringing data into internal table and that is our syntax also by mistake i put this and after this append i will refresh our lt underscore data because anyways we are storing everything into lt underscore file i'll check the syntax and i will activate so what is the summary of this particular video we studied so many important things into this video whenever you want to fetch that data in terms of packets and chunks using cursor try what is the syntax fetch next cursor name of the cursor into internal table you can define the packet size it means whatever the packet size you are specifying it will bring that much data from the database layer into this particular internal table of application layer we are not bringing everything together if size sub r c is equal to 0 we are appending that data to a final internal table why why we are appending because this internal table has always new data so but we want everything we want previous data also so we put into a new internal table now we simply put this logic in the do loop yes because loop is required because we are going for packet size we are not bringing everything together if we have 100 matching records and we are going for 10 packet size it means that particular statement should continue 10 times it should fetch data from the table 10 times it means we should apply a loop but every loop should be exit yes so in which scenario it will be exit whenever we have nothing to fetch from the database table it will simply simply exit now one more change now your data is in lt file so we need to display the data from lt file i will check the syntax and i will activate it. okay lt file I'll check that because LT data is not our internal table now. Our data is finally going to LT underscore file. Now, in the next video, we will see everything in the debugging mode. So, if some confusion is still there, it will be automatically cleared because we will see everything, each and everything in the debugging mode. 
So that's it in this video. Thank you.